While covering the 2013 DARPA Robotics Challenge, We Are Change interviewed Mark Raybert, the head of Boston Dynamics, the company behind the now famous viral videos that show futuristic robots capable of unprecedented feats of movement, agility, and navigation. Recently, Google purchased Mark's company, making this the eighth robotics purchase that Google has made in the past six months. Since the purchase, the internet has been abuzz with speculation, wondering why the massively powerful search engine company is buying highly advanced robot companies, some of which are directly funded by various branches of the US military, as well as DARPA, which is an agency of the Pentagon. Although Mark refused to comment on the infamous Google purchase, We Are Chains asked him about whether or not he thinks his robots may one day be used in war for American military operations. I don't know. We're you know we're pretty far from that. I don't I don't think that's our main focus. We're trying to develop uh, capability. Uh, you know, make machines that do more things, that can manipulate, that can go uh, more places. And uh, I think uh, what kind of applications they're used for is going to you know unfold over time. And uh, I think other people will decide what's acceptable and what's not acceptable for their use. I think there's a lot of things that you can use them for that everybody would agree that's great. You know, rescuing people in disasters. It would have been great if we could have had robots go into Fukushima and get. Uh, Uh, data early on. That's sort of what motivated this whole comp uh, uh, challenge is to be able to push ahead our capability to do those kinds of things. In spite of Mark's response, the fact remains that his company, which he recently sold to Google, received significant funding from DARPA, which is an agency of the Pentagon. According to The Guardian, Boston Dynamics recently received $10.8 million in funding from DARPA and from other associated military branches. Although it is unclear what exactly the United States military intends to use these robots for, one cannot help but think about the possible dystopic outcomes that can result from a combination between the U.S. military and highly advanced semi-autonomous robots.